Hey guys, today I'll be showing you um, my big zombie apocalypse safe house mock. Um, so as you can see, it's so it's super weaponized, but as you can see in the battlefield, there's only two zombies. So I guess I overfilled it because look, a zombie apocalypse only has two zombies. Oh, I, was, I accidentally put the hands on the wrong side on this one, but never mind. Um, so, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare it, and maybe in another video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the minifigures and some accessories. So, let's start. First, we're going to start off with this chainsaw. This chainsaw, you can move it up and down. Also, the most important thing. Well, it kind of doesn't look like a chain at more. It mostly looks like a ninja shuriken. So you can move it back. You can spin it around. You can also move this. This, this is kind of like a human lifting heavy weights, except it's sharp. Mm -hmm. And also you can do it. And this is as far as it can go. Seriously. So, next. Next we're going to just take this off for a minute. Here we have a minifigure. This minifigure is a ninja assassin that also is carrying a laser laser cannon. Um, he has a face. Uh, he has an angry face. And a quite happy 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 face so he also has armor and i even put iron man's torso on him for for more detail next we're moving to the next um and also put this back on right. uh so yes um yeah so here we have a rock not too much to talk about it's just a plain old rock in the battlefield here we have a bit more detailed figure. I technically put three things on him. First I put a first I put like a pack of like flames and stuff like that. And then I put this mask that helps you breathe when you're shooting fire out your gun. Um and also I put this um Flare, pro uh, flare protected helmet. So uh, what a flare is technically, those little sparks that come out of a flame. <clears throat> Take that. He also has two faces. He has a angry face, or first I need to, you know, take the mask off. Oh, never mind him. Uh, he has a... Uh, I'm angry face. Oh yeah, I never knew I could just do this. Uh, an angry face. And then, if we turn it on the other side, he's got a qu quite weird face. Yeah, I just don't know how to explain that face. But it's still super weird. So, moving on to the next thing. So, as you can see, you usually find a zombie apocalypse with lots of, you know barricades and walls and iron bars and those types of things so if i would say this is my zombie apocalypse safe house how to prepare video but i'd also say it in this video so if you want to get these usually get some of these lego city police set. these these usually come in those sets or you can build a wall as a barricade like I did right here where that turret is placed. And also you can use um, these pieces, uh, the, the sliding ones that you can put steering wheels on the top to make a sliding door. And you can also put that them there. And also as you can see at the front you can use this idea too. So this was my first bit. So technically I'll tell you what I started. Um, so first I built this. I mean first I built this. Then this. Then these walls. But except that turret. And then the minifigs. And then this turret. And then the chainsaw. 
out of the things that I showed right now. So next we're moving on to the zombie. Um, let me just fix his arms. At least I got the time. Fix his arms. So um, here you have a regular Lego goblin. Um, you might not have a zombie like I I. I don't have any zombies, so that's why I, I just got a goblin from Lego Ninjago set. And then, um, the way to make um, this a zombie, just turn the head around. And then, since you can see the head, the face at the back, put some hair on. Like that. Now, you can't even see his face at the back, so it looks like a zombie. And another way to make a zombie is also to get like a minifigure's head you don't use or a minifigure that's so old, uh, it, one of the hands are loose. Just take that loose hand off and then turn the head around and also just put a Lego helmet on. You could also like uh, uh, make a like dusty one as it's like so old and rusty. And also here... This guy's cool, yeah. I I technically used kind of some sticky tack for it. I just found some um in some literally I just found some. Uh that's that's good cuz yeah. Now I can pose him if I was making a stop motion. So it's technically dough or sticky tack. Mostly sticky tack works, works best. Because sticky tack, you can make it sticky again. But Play-Doh, if it's dry, hmm, I guess it's the end of that. So, next we're moving on to this turret. So, if I take the turret off, I'll just move this. So, as you can see, the turret is quite easy to build. I will build it in the video that I'm going to make lots of the accessories in this mock. <clears throat> so, this turret has got like these shields. I didn't really need to do it because... Have you ever seen a <clears throat> zombie walking with a rocket launcher on his back and like a axe on uh, in his hand? <clears throat> and has chest plates and these things. No. So that's why these are not that important. But for detail, yeah, it's good. So um, the best thing is that you can make different, like, cannon bits. I, you could make this, this type of spell. Or just put, like, a stick stick on and then yeah then you're done or you can just make your own type of spout where the machine where the bullets come out so here it is i could take them no uh so yeah now let's just put that so now moving to the back um So at the back here, we've got this abandoned science lab. This science lab is uh, abandoned, but I've got a scientist right here, a very old legs. Um, um, so I've made like, if you don't have those um, flasks for the like science experiments i just like put a cone and put a stud on top but to make it even better i'd say just get a cone and then put a flat stud on like this like that and also if we turn this around you can see that there are like um, measurements of this I'll, I'll show you it later and then this is a lever so if the door can open or uh, close it, it's kind of stiff right now because it's abandoned technically um, so if you pull the lever 
So if you pull the lever here, that means it's locked. If you pull it here, that means it's open. That means if you just press the door buttons, it will open or close. So yeah, when I didn't finish it. I was going to make it like a regular science lab, but then I didn't have much time, so I just made a abandoned science. So um, here we've got um, the thing that I was talking about, that measurement type of stud. Um, you can see these blue flat studs inside it, because when you usually have um, a box of bullets here, you might see it's just regular, it gives you regular bullets, but if, if you put it in that machine that I just showed you, it will turn it like dark blue and it will be way powerful. That means it can even destroy um, a bulletproof car, even though it's bulletproof. So guys, at the science lab, you might also see this powered rocket launcher and these two buttons. When I said those was abandoned, that's because uh, they were supposed to, I, I was going to plan to put like a machine here, uh, but then I couldn't. So yeah, I didn't have too much time. Um, also, yeah, it's fine because it's abandoned. And then in at here, you can see that um, there's like a drop crate that usually falls out of a plane. You usually see them in games. Um, so, um, also there's this character, which I used that clay, as you can see. I just used that clay because I didn't have any more hair pieces for boys. And his head and his other back face was sticking out, so that's why I used that clay. So he's technically the engineer and also a cool guy. So he's technically reloading every gun. I was supposed to do something else. So like it forge, forges weapons and stuff like that. So yeah. Well, and because he's a, a, what's it called? The engineer. He's also made this crane. So as you can see here, there's a vehicle also with this hole. Um, if I just crank it, cranking, 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 just move the car a little bit there, hold it, then crank up, 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 just keep moving it up, and then I'll just like push it this way because I usually keep doing that, so it just, but I guess that was a failure, I guess I needed Sec, um, push. Why is today not being the best day? Never mind. So, I'll uh, just put this back. Uh, never mind, let's just pretend it, it, it held up. Because yesterday it did. I don't know why today it's just being faded. Then it just uh, held uh, I'll just, yeah, drop like that. <laughs> it, uh, maybe I'll try again in the how to prepare video. And it goes a long distance also. So it feels like on the ground. So it, it, it even reaches like in a different room from this room. That means if I stretched it, it'll go in that room. So, yeah. Now we're going to the, in the actual safe house itself. It's not that um, filled up because, yeah, there, there's lots of things outside. So, you might be wondering what's inside this crate. There's technically nothing because then it'll be te impossible for that crane to lift. Because I've only got heavy things. So, you might be seeing this in the corner. So, there's like this pistol in this drawer. You can also take this up like this. You can put it in a car, like, uh, as you see, this delivery truck. Uh, if the engine wasn't working, just place it into there. And then let it charge, and then it'll go turbo charge. That means super fast. And then you can also 
put it back and for security if a zombie tried to touch it or a bad guy it will uh, electric shock them also and there's this cupboard that's technically empty and if we open this you'll see some boxes like uh, bullet tubes and if you open this um one up you can see uh this um cabinet is full of torches so next we're just going to uh if you can see there yeah yeah perfect perfect there is a tub of uh health and like special item drinks and next to it there's like um a chest if i can get it out so here Just if i open it you'll see that there's dynamite and a double barrel machine gun so yeah here's the double barrel machine gun then if we wanted to put it back in you have to hold fold it put it right in there and then put that there. So then you can just put, place it right back guys if you saw this this was technically supposed to be in there that was supposed to be in there it's technically an engine if a car's engine broke you can put this turbocharged engine that means everything will double or or double to a million no matter what the number is and then you can see that chest if i can reach no no this, that's an empty chest next to it is two crates but one of the crates are empty one of them are full of katanas so uh, there's a like green one there's an orange one there's silver ones and then there's blue ones now we're moving up to some sunlight um uh, as you can see if it's a warm sunny day you can have some barbecue so that's why i made this barbecue grill you can open and shut it and, and before um i i go i just you know open the refrigerator it's kind of messy in there i uh, there's like space for sodas um milk uh, ice cream eggs meat chicken nuggets cupcakes fish so i'll just like get a chicken out of there put it um in the uh in the grill and then put it in that stud and then just close it up and also if you show those chicken nuggets get three of them open the oven and put them in and then also you can get this frying pan i mean boiling pan or frying pan um and then we can get um this uh, we can get uh, an egg and then then we have an egg boiling in there i'll just be right back uh never mind uh so yeah there's an egg boiling in there and you can have your mini fingers shaking it so it gets fried completely and also since you're going to have a party this you can put the drinks on and then get a soda out the refrigerator don't shake it you know what happens just and then all right i forgot to put a trash bin somewhere um so yeah and then you can pretend you did that about all the mini figures so yeah yeah that's just an oversized kit and then you can see this character sniping out the zombies well there's no need because there's a hundred trillion laser blasters machine guns out there so we well, no need um so as you can see here this is kind of like a you know soda machine this you can so this is like um you, um uh how they say this um you can pretend uh, that you put cash into there i hope there's cash in there no there isn't so you technically have to put cash in there 
and then it will let you use the joysticks and then uh, to move and uh, which color you want and then you can also pick the flavor and then when you're done just do this and then it gives you a no uh, uh, a lid for that soda and then you just place it on this jumper play up here then these are like the mixers and the machines and then it also suddenly appears the soda is in there mixing up and then it will it will get it out for you i'll just get it out for you and then also if it was a stop motion i'd make it in a way so that when it gets out the soda will also be with its lid like that it's technically the exact same one that was on the fridge so yeah it's quite fun also i didn't explain some other things um underneath as you can see there and um, there are some beds down there like beds and this red thing over here is a fire extinguisher and then also you can see there's a bar door and there's also a barricade if i just open the door i can't open the door because i didn't unlock it with a key just uh, put the key into there like that then open this up i don't know why it's not opening completely i'll just make it i bet there's something going on down there i'll just then. sorry about that um yeah now, now it can open up so now you can see those barricaded doors i remember a broom being there i wonder where the broom was so yeah now up here you can see this mega torrent and um it's it got it's got flick fire missiles you can flick them but i usually just push them i can try it on a zombie i'll just make it stand on a jumper plate so it's loose just put it there there then let's see if my accuracy is correct so we can um just there yeah did you see his helmet just popped and then when you're out of bullets you can reload but but you don't need to reload because you have this um l unlimited uh, amount of laser life on this laser cannon as you can see this light brick i wish i had a real lego one um and you can like burn the zombies until they get fried and then you can put them in the fryer <laughs> So now, as you can see here, you might, you could use this in like your war mocks. Because this is like an anti-aircraft gun. I wonder why I even put that there. I just thought it would be nice because then you can just go, uh, you can change the modes when you turn the dial. So if you turn the dial this way, it also like shoots rockets. And then if you turn it this way, it'll go ding shoots them zombies or or the aircraft so yeah i and also over here we've got this rocket launcher um and over here we've got two two um what, what you call, um two fire extinguishers and also we have some like walls to protect and also these chains are pre um, pretending them to be barbed wire. Also these rockets here are the reloads of the aircraft gun. So here, the last part of the safe house is the, the bit where the solar panel uh, uh, charges up the laser cannon's power. And also there's like two walkie talkies and uh, handcuffs. So yeah, I guess that's it i think oh no 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 it's definitely not done i just need to you know take. i forgot to show you the front 
So, before we move to the front, I got to show you something. So, here, as you can see, the barricades. So, uh, never mind about that. You've got a vault door that opens up if you turn the dial correctly. So, this is the way to open it, as you can see. Um, let me just... Uh, let's so, if you turn the dial correctly, uh, it will open up, as I said. So, as you can see, it won't open up. Look. But, if you turn the dial, and then this way, this way, uh, I, I'm pushing it the wrong way, and then it will open up, magically. I'm only joking, I just put this jump away <laughs> so it doesn't open um so yeah uh, also here we've got this window like a bit of space you can also just take this off and then just push them back down so it closes up and then put this back on um over here we've got a little hole in the wolf so you can put like a machine gun in there also we've got this cannon um, you can put one of these rockets inside it. I'd usually put like a cannonball, but I don't have a cannonball. So yeah, uh, just do it like that. And then we can test it on a zombie. Like that, right there. Or on, on that jump. This is my test subject zombie. He's doing well. I'm going to try and... Knock him off his feet. Why isn't it shooting? Oh, it is stuck. Oh, that's fine. Never mind. Uh, I guess it wasn't ready. Maybe I'll just put a regular cannonball. I just, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, and then just, <laughs> I just, like that, and then. Well, that was a shame. Um, I guess this cannon... I think everything doesn't work today. <laughs> Otherwise, yesterday everything was working perfectly. It, and this thing nearly knocked me off my feet. So, I guess... It's... Done! I hope you guys like it, subscribe to see my other video. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. Uh, I forgot this. Um so this is like a shield where you can put like there's uh mini figures there usually with a gun but I just and also they can hide under there though because there's a space. No you don't need to. Uh, as you can see there. There's literally a space. Oops, I guess that tack didn't work today. It's a shelter. Also, so I guess the only person without a weapon here is our test subject number two for shelter zombie. As you can see here, you can just easily fit them in there and then maybe like put a key with them. Uh, a fried egg. Turn in the fried egg. So yeah, then that's shelter. <laughs> and you can also put the gun in his hand. Well, not in the zombie's hand, but also you can put... You don't need that key in the zombie's hand, but you could give him that Friday. So, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys.